YouTube, Matt M. Roy back again. Back to you on September 8th of 2016. This is a Thursday. Very dreary Thursday. And matter of fact, that's why I'm using my uh, Canon Vixia with my LED light. Actually, I did get the LED light fixed. As I had said in a previous vlog, the little shoe adapter had broke on it. Um, the one that came with it was totally plastic and just you know it didn't last at all I had put a little bit of weight on it because I was leaning on it one time and the thing just cracked in half so I went on eBay and I bought um, a couple of these let me see if I have one available to show you there we go this is the new one that I purchased and this one is of much better quality these I actually wound up getting for I believe two dollars and fifty cents a piece now as you can see if you look closely these are all metal this is the little shoe adapter that fits into my little bracket and then this tightens down to the actual shoe adapter so if I keep going like that that'll tighten down there and then this top part is what actually goes into the LED light and this thing is solid metal this thing is not going to break so I was very fortunate to be able to find these I wasn't even sure if something like this existed um, for a while I couldn't even use this light but not to get off topic, today uh, we still have construction going on downstairs. Actually, I should reiterate, it's deconstruction because what they're doing is actually ripping up the rest of the uh, slub subfloor where they're actually getting down to the base. Now what they're going to do, and I'm going to make a correction because originally I thought they were actually going to have to take the base flooring up too, but apparently that's not going to happen. What they're doing is they're taking the actual subfloor out and then there's just like a base that goes, um, under, that goes above the actual studs on the floor that base is particle board and they're going to keep that in there what they're going to do is they're going to put a new subfloor above the particle board floor and then we're going to go ahead and put they're going to go ahead and put the tile right on top of that so that's a good thing i'm really glad that they don't actually have to get us down to studs because then we would actually have to move into the trailer um, if that was the case we wouldn't even be able to walk downstairs so i don't know when the guys are coming back um, they came here around nine o'clock this morning they did a, a little bit of sawing they're having a hard time getting some of the subfloor floor from around like where the refrigerator and the stove is they're working in that area and then um, supposedly they left I, I actually went out to a few thrift stores this morning so I wasn't here when they left but I guess they left around 10 um, another one of their jobs are having trouble with the cabinets I guess for something happened where they didn't order the right cabinets so they're over there now and hopefully they're gonna come back sometime after lunch and I really wish they would concentrate on our job because it is a mess down there right now we can't cook the actual countertop Tops are filled with the dust. I, I, we've been eating out the last day or so because it's just not sanitary to cook in there. The stove's filthy. Everything in the kitchen is just totally filthy. But you know what? It's going to be great. It's going to look fantastic when everything is said and done. One thing I wanted to show you guys, um, the other day, I didn't do a thrift store finds video, I apologize. Uh, it got late and I was really, really tired, so I just kind of... Um, didn't do it. <laughs> That's the best excuse I have. Um, I found a few keyboards. I want to show you the epitome of the worst keyboard I've ever seen. This is an Insignia brand keyboard. Um, Best Buy's brand. I usually do like Insignia and to be honest the keyboard is a fairly good construction. It's a USB keyboard. Um, it is totally unusable. I tried it on my uh, computer over here, the HP Dual Core, the AMD system. The problem is, when you have these feet out here, the angle, it doesn't angle the keyboard up enough. Having those feet out should angle the keyboard almost at a 30 degree angle. This one is almost still sitting flat. And if you look at the keys here, they're the chiclet style keys. Like if you look right here, it makes it almost impossible to type, especially at nighttime when you're trying to see what keys you have. You're pretty much guessing. The only way to type with this is to hunt and peck. So if you guys are um, looking in the market for new keyboards, stay away from this one. And I do know for a fact Best Buy still sells these. Um, they're just total garbage. You cannot use these keyboards. You have to have tons of light on you, and literally you can't use your, your keyboard fingering properly. To make any use out of this, you just have to hunt and peck. So it's a little unfortunate that in this day and age, as long as we've had keyboards manufactured, they are still manufacturing trash like that and I know I'm gonna get tons of comments saying well you should expect that Matt. it's a modern keyboard I'm like yeah I know and believe me I'd love to get something like an IBM uh, Model M keyboard or something but lots of money I mean those things 
go for hundreds of dollars. And I don't know about you guys, I don't have hundreds of dollars to spend on a keyboard, even though I would love to have one. Um, that's all I have for you guys right now. Uh, when they start working downstairs, I'll give you guys an update. Um, I do have another video in the works. Um, some things I'm getting in from eBay. One is a actual magnetic charging adapter for my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, which I'm going to be really excited to show you guys. But until then, I will talk to you a little later. <laughs> All right, guys, so I was just ready to leave, and I heard some meowing outside the door, and then the door started doing this. So I have to assume that means Cassie's here. And there she is. She does not like being shut out of anywhere, do you, baby? It's so funny. I've never seen a cat that wants to get into this room so bad, even when the door is shut. What you doing, Cassie? Say hi to YouTube. Let me move the tripod out of the way. She's interested in anything that's new. Like, I just put that extension cord there, and she wants to know what's going on. Come on. What you, want? What you doing, Cassie? Now she's going to go nose near her litter box. Yep. You can see she's very distracted right now, but... Yeah, I'm just glad she likes to be in my room. There was a time when we first got her that she really didn't seem to like to be in here because mainly because I had to shut her in here when we were gone. But now she seems to come in here voluntarily. Isn't that right, Pumpkin? Cassie, going to come say hi? You're just going to rub. That's her thing. She loves to rub now. Good girl. Good girl. Still not a big fan of the camera, though. I think that's just a cat thing. Neither of my cats seem to really like being filmed. They know when they're being filmed, and it really seems to bother them. But I'll let her roam. She's a typical cat, still a kitten, loves to look at anything that's new that she hasn't noticed yet. All right, guys, so I added the microphone onto this. I want to see how much uh, the audio changes. This is that Task Star. Uh, what is this? this? is an SGC, SGC 5898 model. So. We'll see if this makes a difference with the audio quality. I'm just kind of following Cassie around here. And a lot of you guys were asking me, is Cassie short for something? And yes, it is. Her full name is Cassiopeia, which is named for the uh, constellation. And once again, I didn't name her that, but um, I kind of liked it, so we decided to keep that name. And I mean, I could follow her around all day. She is such a roamer. She loves to sniff out new things. And believe me, there are things in this house she still hasn't found. It's just that kind of um, hunter slash, uh, I guess you say female. <laughs> You're funny. He jumps from the top step. What a little funny girl. She's got to go under the bed and see if there's anything new under the bed. Amazing. You are such a funny little girl, Cassie Cat. All right, she's going to use a litter box. We won't, have, <laughs> we won't film that. But hope you guys enjoyed this little segment. I love showing off my little girl. All right, so I'll give you guys an update on the floors. This is what it looks like, and it's pretty much the same as it looked yesterday. You can see that um, they've taken up all the wood flooring. This is the floor that's under that was under the wood. Now this, we do not actually have to pull up. They're going to go ahead and just put something on top of this. Basically what this is is just that kind of cheap particle board. Um, but they said as long as they put another floor on top of it and then lay the tile down, everything should be okay. And that's going to work because, as you can see here, the carpet is actually raised about two inches. So once they put the board, the other wood there, and then the tile, it should be just about the right height for the carpet. And what they're going to do is they're going to put a new molding in right on the edge of the carpet here and pretty much all around the uh, kitchen. Now, we haven't decided if in the kitchen we're going to use the older molding. They did save it. You can see it's sitting right here. This is basically just what it was. He had the white molding down there. He said it's still in really good shape, so he said he might try to reuse it. He might not. He's got to talk to the uh, head contractor. But as you can see, this is the floor that was on top of the base flooring. This was the subfloor. They actually haven't pulled it off here. It's just kind of like uh, cheap. It's, again, cheap particle board, but they can't use that because when this gets wet, this stuff tends to... Uh, expand and get moldy. You can see it kind of got wet here and pieces just kind of started flaking off a little bit so this stuff is absolutely no good for us to use. He actually hasn't had a chance over here to uh, pull off the 
wrestle linoleum, but you can see how it was originally. <clears throat> it was the linoleum, and then under that was the subfloor, and then on the bottom was the base floor. So he said it was done properly. It's just getting very old and definitely was ready to be pulled up. And as you can see, Cassie's making another uh, guest appearance in this video. And like I said before, this is the last thing. This is the very last room to be done, and that's because we still have some clothes we have to do. So I'm actually going to start doing that right now, finish off the rest of our laundry, and uh, I will talk to you guys a little later. <gasps> what are you doing? Check this out, guys. Look who I caught on top of Mom's jackets on the kitchen table that's temporarily here while we're changing out the floor. What are you doing? LED lights bother. What you doing? You know, you're not supposed to be up there. Yes, you do. You know this. You know this. She'll probably attack me because she knows she's being bad. No, what are you doing? I'm not going to throw off because she's really freaked out. Both the cats are kind of freaked out with all the uh, construction going on. Is it okay? You being okay, baby? No purring, though. Good Cassie cat. Oh, see? Because she does that because she knows she's being bad. When she knows she's being bad, if I pet her, she's going to attack. Because you know you're not supposed to be up there, right? Huh? Yeah, you know that. See, the thing is, if I kick her off, she'll just go right back up because she's totally freaked out. Well, we'll leave you alone, Cassie. Try to calm down a little bit. Good girl. Alright guys, so I'd give you a little update on all the uh, bushes and flowers around here. You can see Mom's knockout roses are actually still blooming right now. They died off, but then we've been so hot for the September, they grew back. You can see you got a really nice bloom right here. Got a really nice red one here. It's actually a different color than the other ones. Most of them are pink. Absolutely gorgeous though. I can tell something like an aphid or maybe some beetles have been in this because you can see the little holes if you look closely. So. Something has been eaten at these, but these things are growing. I cannot get over these hollies, how fast they grow. We cut these not just about two months ago, and you can see they're already grown twice their size. And of course, got to take a look at Mom's white roses, which have bloomed again as well. It's amazing. This time, by this time, you know these are usually dead and gone, but because of all the heat and all the rain, you can see got a nice one that just bloomed there. This one's kind of dying off. You can see. I love looking at these. The dew that just forms on these. And it's really been so humid today, and the sun is just coming out, so the uh, morning dew hasn't even had a chance to dry out, even though it's basically just about noon now. Oh, on a sad note, I think that um, the plum tree is dead. Yeah, this thing has lost most of its leaves. And the sad part is it's not because of the trauma it suffered when we had that little tornado. There's some kind of um, disease going around for these. A lot of plum trees in the area are just dying off. You can see that, see how dry this is. Yeah, see it just cracking? There's really no, I'm just going to get a close up of that. There's really, uh, a lot of the stuff has died off. The external branches are just really, really um, dried out right now. And the leaves themselves, like this one's kind of okay, but a lot of the ones here are just totally dry. So, yeah, unfortunately, I think we're going to have to replace this next year. I think we're going to try to go with a Jap Japanese maple. I tried to tell Mom we need to do like a pin oak that we had here before, but they just take too long to grow. Mom's hanging baskets are doing okay right now. They're, uh, they're looking actually pretty good at the moment. And then, of course, if we go over here, you can see this is all getting overgrown again as well. We cut these two holly bushes down, like I said, about two months ago, and they're really overgrown again. We just don't have any... Uh, want to come out and do it when it's so hot. One cool thing I want to show you guys is uh, they dropped this the other day. This is actually the linoleum that was in the kitchen. You can see how thick this was. This is what they call no-tear linoleum and that's why it lasted so long. Very, very good quality stuff and you know it lasted 18 years or so. You know, but it was time for a change but even after 18 years you can see that all the coloring is still vibrant in it. It really didn't have many tears except for the few seams that were coming up. One other thing I want to mention to you guys, my dad is really enjoying his My Gaiet. I'm not even sure how you pronounce it. I thought it was Giant, but there's no N, so it's My Gaiet, I guess, keyboard. This is one I picked up for him at the thrift store. 
and uh, because of his eyesight he's getting older he needs to have larger keys as you can see they're very large uh, white backed keys so it makes it easier for him to see the keyboard he had here before the keys were starting to stick and it really wasn't the uh, top quality it was one of those ones you, they sold on the infomercial a few years back this is a USB keyboard and even though they're not out switches they are fairly well built I mean this is definitely a solidly built keyboard and I did some research and I found out that this key was never sold individually this keyboard was actually sold as a set um, a computer set that was sold to seniors a few years back and I think they do still sell them but um, I paid two bucks for this and he's really been happy with it he does a lot now with eBay and Amazon and it really helps him out a lot because a regular keyboard if he doesn't have his glasses with him he won't be able to see the keys at all all right guys I'm gonna end the vlog here for today hope you guys really enjoyed this please remember to like and subscribe and as always have a blessed day everybody